Welcome to the 24 T2 tournament for Lime War. This is the first of round two and we have Animal versus AKA Misk. If you'd like to see all of the tournament matches that we'll be covering, which is the final stage, there is a playlist in the description. Now today most of the map has ended up as being blacked out because they've picked the same spots most of the time. Now this picking phase has actually favored Animal for blue because although both players has multiple starting locations, kind of, AKA can only really start on one island whereas Animorph has the opportunity to choose which island he starts on. So Animorph knows where AKA will start, but AKA does not know where Animorph will start. So Animorph has started to go on the same island as AKA, and he's also got energy available to him instantly. He's got an airfield, two factories, and two barracks. Both players are in a very similar position, having energy available to them and energy wells between them both. But instead, AKA is going for an airfield and four barracks. So here we are, we've got the battlefield in front of us right now. We can see both players are pretty close to each other right at the beginning. And there's a lot of the map that hasn't been used yet. They've got to cross the ocean to get to this section here, over on this side. But there is a fair few territories, well, a small amount of territories between them. And already we're getting some SAM units on the battlefield. We're predicting some air units as animal. But as for anti-air, AKA Misk is just about able to get some now, unless he goes for any interceptors. They have met each other now. They're using blue commands to control movements better. Got some on the retreat over here. Go and capture this territory. And they're mostly just keeping the infantry in front of this artillery here, these two here. Try and keep them safe from any advances from red. Red does have one unit that strayed off the first casualty, maybe. Looks like he's going to just about get away. Over in this section as well, we've got some movements going on. We've got Red putting up a bit of a push over the mountains there. But I think he's... I think they're about equal, but we do have a barracks there helping. We have a commando off uh, on the way over to the other island there. But we don't have any energy wells from either player yet, despite both having airfields up and running. I was just checking to make sure that, that was true. I can't see any, but we've got the helicopters up and running, and we've got the commandos going down south. I want to quite, kind of check where those commandos are landing, but I feel like I need to be here right now. So the units in the mountains have separated for red over here, and blue is pushing through here. He's stealthed as well, so this is going to kind of appear out of nowhere. And the helicopters are moving over here just to make sure nothing gets around the sides. And Red does have a stronger force up front here. Blue's pushing in at an angle on this one, trying to get a good position in against the opponent there. But I think Red is going to get the advantage here. He is backed up by some Sam units. We've got commanders off on the way again. And finally, we've got an energy wells up and running pretty much at the same time for both players here. <laughs> They're almost mirroring each other if it weren't for the extra barracks on this side. We've got an extra factory for Blue over there instead. It looks like Blue's positioning was good at the minute. He's got the artillery, he's got his infantry behind, unfortunately, at the moment, that's because they've been taken out from the front. I think Red will win the engagement, but I think Blue take, took quite a lot of units with him. More than I thought we would take, so... It looks like they are really struggling for that energy right now. The helicopters are on the move. He's only got three units of energy left right now. So those helicopters don't have a lot of time to do what they need to do over here. Luckily, the energy well comes up just in the nick of time, so they will be able to be active there. There is a SAM unit there. I think the three helicopters will easily take that out, though. Red is trying to take advantage of the momentum they have achieved. They're trying to keep pushing forward with the reinforcements coming in. And we do have interceptors coming out for AKA there. And they might actually take out a few helicopters. There's just a few weakened already. One goes down straight away, but they'll probably actually take down the interceptor because. Hellas do have missiles that can hit air units as well. Those commandos were not actually going for 
expansion across the map. They're going to target this energy well. And commandos take out structures pretty fast, so it's already on fire. I think it might actually get away with that one. We have the commandos going off for animal there as well, but the energy has just blown up. They haven't got any energy. They have to return. Which at least those commandos will pop out again. And will help defend this airfield. Unfortunately though, Red has lost that momentum. Although it does have energy, so it could push back with helicopters if they have it. And still building interceptors there, so... And we've got another energy well up in this side now, so Animorph is working on gaining that control back. Hell is taking on the Sam here, because they release their weapons quite fast, their ammo. They do take out those Sam pretty quickly. We do have two more coming in, but at that point I think the helicopters could take them out if they were to, put, to try and spot them early. Two more barracks over on this side to help with the push around the sides, around the main engagement. I will just have a quick look at what's going on on this island. I think both players tried to expand here. Only Reds actually managed to succeed though because those commandos before didn't make it. And we're getting more transport jets. I don't know if that's meant to happen have to have two of them. I think he's trying to switch that. I could be wrong, maybe he wanted to. Helicopters are pushing in on the northern section over here as the infantry dig in. With helicopters over here, it's probably not the best idea to try and dig in with infantry unless you're just trying to slow the, uh, the opponent down. But he has got some sand up there now. Animorph is... Putting his structures much closer to this front line over here. It's a very offensive play. Gets his units up in the front lines much faster, but it does also put his structures at risk as he's a lot closer to the enemy. Over in this section, the Sam are trying to stay in the south of the forest, whilst also being in between the main sections to stop any helicopters coming in. Or even interceptors by the looks of it, as the helicopters approach for blue. Helicopters are easily taken out that Sam. The Interceptor's really heavily damaged right now. It probably would have went down if it got hit once more by a helicopter or Sam. But it looks like Red's got a good advantage on the right-hand side. In the main section, it does look like they're losing ground a little bit. They've got enough infantry here to make a little bit of a push. And building up commandos over here, which will probably be useful in a little bit. Just have a quick look over here. Blue is now over here as well, so we've got a bit of a foothold on this island for blue. And red has a lot more land there, so I'm going to guess that red's economy is a fair bit higher, at least a little bit. So we've got for red, 730. And for blue, 610. So blue is actually behind when it comes to economy, but yet yeah, is making quite an aggressive push here. Blue just is setting up defences, which will allow them to take a few better trades as they approach. We do have a bit uh, a good group of infantry coming over the mountains here, but they are going to get straight into the path of this defensive line. More helicopters are pushing up into the north, so I'm guessing that's going to go this way. I assume he knows that the energy well is over there. Or has made a guess that that's the case. He might be trying to get to that with the helis. And he's setting up a defensive zone, so they're getting a... And Blue's taken down the defence, so he's going into the attack there and setting up defence again. And as Blue brings his units round to the side instead now, trying to get round the edge of these defences, a few infantry are straight off into this direction. And this area is now being reinforced from two directions. 
But we do have two jets of commandos coming in. And they're going to drop straight in on this airfield. Instead of going for the energy, they're just going to take out the production. Helicopters are being brought back as fast as they can. Luckily, most of the production here is from helicopters. Has been producing helicopters, so even if he did lose this airfield, the helicopters would still remain. It would be the interceptors that would be lost. While Red has been forced to move his units away, he's content on holding this as a defensive line for now, and has sort of just waited patiently against that. So he's bringing most of his units into this section to try and help alleviate the pressure from Blue here. Just trying to see if anything else has been done in the back there. I want to know what Blue has been doing over here. So we've got a bit of a defense line here, trying to just keep back the enemy. But Red has been advancing for quite a bit. And we do have an airfield. He's got more energy wells available to him. And a factory being placed there. It looks like Red's going to take over the entirety of the right-hand side of the island. Again, the feeling that Blue really needs to do something about this expansion that he's been missing out on. They really need to try and take control over on the right-hand side. Or try and push hard on this section. And potentially break through. As we can see, Animorph is already in the red for his income per minute. Or should I say outgoings at this point. We've got some Sam moving into the back here. These Sam are just literally going around trying to target this by themselves, I think. I think maybe he realised he built a few too many and this way they can't respond with Hellas. Let's go switch over to AKA. I've noticed we've got a lot of Helios here doing not much. And that's probably because there's quite a large group of sand there. Big bad. The Sam do retreat. They're not going to try and go in for the kill there. Helicopters are being pushed here. As the Sam move away, they've split up into two groups. Which means those Helios might be able to pick off this small group over here pretty rapidly and then retreat which he's doing a very good job at trying to manage this area as well taking out the anti-air as soon as he had an opportunity there that might have just been sheer luck but I think he's doing good either way blue has quite a large force on the front line here and he's got a good amount of reinforcements coming in Thing. Blue is succeeding very strongly over there, but what about over here? Blue is seriously struggling to just hold the line here. And with air coming in and no anti-air available to them, apart from the Hellas maybe, as secondaries. But they're easily going to be taken out by these interceptors that are being produced down here. I don't think Blue has much of a chance over there right now. But on this island, it looks like Blue is doing extremely well. It's potentially the problem that Red may have over-invested on their expansion to the right. Which has allowed Blue to press a bit too hard than Red expected. Notice that these guys are all pushing through on this main location, which is good for Bloom, at least not for Red. But they've still got this little defensive line here at this point. They're just looking at each other, waiting for the battles down here to resolve. But they could be useful in pulling back because you haven't got this area anymore. But you don't want to alleviate that because then these guys are also push forward. I feel like they're holding back more than they're actually worth in bringing back, so I think it is good to keep them there. But these units are dangerously close now. We're getting quite close in. And these artillery are going to be able to start tearing through the structures on this island over here. What's the economy like at this point? Because Blue is currently winning on the main or original island. Red's on a thousand, and Animal Blue is on six hundred. So Animorph is 
quite far behind in economy. Over on this section, they are trying to expand. They're getting some commandos up into the top right. Just trying to get anywhere else at the moment and keeping that location that they have there. But I think they'll be happy if they just keep hold of this island. They've taken down quite a few of the barracks in the front here, which means it's going to be a lot harder for AKA to keep this area now as he starts losing out on the production. He does bring back the defences here, but Animorph has noticed and is bringing back the infantry as well, or bringing forward the infantry. And the helicopters are trying to pick them off as they go through the forest and enter from behind. The interceptor just lands, but unfortunately it looks like he's going to lose that landing strip. There he goes. Trying to just make sure what else is going on. No one seems to have a navy at all on this map so far. Which does surprise me a little bit. But over here we got the... Units just literally moving around Blue and trying to just trap him in this location. He does have some units over here, but Blue didn't actually capture that territory there. I think he's just trying to keep them back and save them in that hidden location for now. And they'll probably become quite useful later. Unfortunately from AK, he's got quite a lot of units he's up against. And he's doing a good job of trying to like pepper pot his defenses back as it goes. But he's just struggling to build up a force in equal measure against Animorph over here. It might have been wise to try and push further back and keep his structures over here. Set so up like a secondary location and just start building up a larger production there. But I'm guessing he didn't expect to have this much resistance when he knew where his enemy had expanded to. He hadn't actually got that far compared to AKA, so he may have underestimated the opponent for a bit. But Animorph is going to be expanding now, and he's going to be increasing his income now quite a lot compared to AKA, because AKA, I think he's pretty much taken over the right-hand side of the map. Blue's forces are ravaging this area. They're literally sweeping through slowly but surely as more and more structures are taken away from red. This is not going to be as short of a match, but Blue has lost this location over here now. And we're starting to build transport boats, and it looks like he plans to make an approach from behind over here. But I think Animorph is expecting that. He's keeping quite a few units hidden in the mountains over here. He's kind of waiting for that invasion to come through. And yes, Red has completely taken over that island over there. So we're going to see Animorph's income start to rise in comparison to AK, because AK is going to start losing territories now. And his helicopters are trying to take out anything in the distance that his unit's going to find it a bit more difficult to reach for now. But yeah, I don't think AKA is willing to invest any more in this location now, so he's just preparing to cut across from the next side. Let's just see when that's, hap that's happening now. He might have wanted to have waited for more units, but at the same time, there's still quite a large empty space there. I don't think it's going to get noticed straight away. And now AKA is pretty much kicked out of this location. He's got this two commandos in the back now. He's got one last structure on this island. And we set up Navy commands. So they're going to be going around expanding the map. Where are they coming from? Ah, so he's got factory over here. And uh, I say a factory, Navy yard. And two Navy yards here. And he's getting his energy going as well. He has been spotted pretty quickly up in this section. So Animorph is not wasting any time. He's sending in the forces to go tackle that invasion. He's trying to get away. But that's not working for him just now. They're going to get taken out pretty quick. He does have a good group of units over here. It's just getting those transport boats to get them across quick enough. 
We're about to lose the territories on this section now, so uh, Animorph will have complete control over here now. But he doesn't have a navy. He always got actually. He's got a sub pen, two sub pens, and he's going to start on this side. Can he actually get through that gap there? I'm not sure he can. He might be able to. So this is what the map looks like now. It is literally two halves of the map. But what is the economy like at this point? So we've got 1,100 per AKA. And Animorph is now at 1,010. So they're pretty equal now. Considering Animorph was extremely far behind at one point, he is caught up very fast. And he's deleting some of his barracks now. That's going to alleviate some of the outgoings. Which is a good point. We've got the... I'm looking at the totals, but for Animorph, he's on 360 plus per minute, and AKA is actually on 500 plus per minute. So they've got a lot more money that they can actually use, rather than money they're spending on maintenance and upkeep. And repairs where relevant. He's also getting rid of a lot of his forces over here. He's just killed off quite a lot of infantry. Which is probably going to increase his income as well. Yeah, he's now reaching about the same as AKA. So that was quite a good decision there. To be able to allow him to adapt to whatever could happen from AKA soon. I notice most of the navy here is going to be missile ships for... AK as well, and that's going to be to tackle the helicopters that he knows are in place. I'm not sure he's too aware of the submarines yet, though. He does have a destroyer in the mix, just in case, though, so... And there is another one over here, going around with this submarine here. And they're setting up a defense line. This is... Actually, they are getting through there, to be fair. There's a lot more space than I thought. I keep getting caught out by stuff like that, that's why I'm a bit cautious of it. AKA okay, is just having a good look around. There's going to be another chance at an, at an expanse. Or an invasion, should I say. But that's going to get spotted instantly. There we go. He's got a town as well. He's got some artillery defending that there. And another sub pet. That might get spotted, depending on how long it takes them to get around there. They're trying to get a defense set up instantly, but that's not going to work out so well straight away. Being jumped on almost instantly, but he's placed his anti-air ships there. Just to try and catch those helicopters as they approach from where he obviously remembered where the airfield was. Where he could see it from his previous attacks. He was able to take out most of those helicopters for that move. And although he tried to put this defense down and wasn't really able to get much done there, he's actually managed to defeat the first wave of units that came in in that section. And we have a second wave coming in from AKA and behind. These are on actually speed moves, like haste commands, because although these arrows aren't showing it, these boats are definitely moving at extra speed. Or at least I think they are. I am in like times two. I think AK will be able to hold off this wave. I think it's going to have to deal with quite a few more units coming into this section. We've got commandos dropping over here. Is there anything else moving on here? We've got some units coming in through this section. They've been caught off guard by these submarines by Animorph over there. He's getting a navy yard up as well, so he's going to be able to have a lot more different types of units coming in through soon. So now he's got his defenses set up a bit better. He's using the infantry to build the defences, and he's getting the artillery to jump on it afterwards. That means these guys will take the damage, the infantry, when setting it up, and the artillery will end up on this defence with full power. Assuming that's what he's doing, or he could just be advancing forward. There's a fair few submarines now being built up for Animorph. And they're coming around, taking on these units 
pretty much one at a time. So yeah, we can see now the boats don't have that sort of more dominant trail behind them. It's kind of calmed down. So I'm guessing Red was probably trying to manage his energy so he stopped him going so fast and he's bringing him in at a slower pace. But I don't think he needs to worry as much. We're getting a defense coming out from Animal now. And Commando's being dropped in right on this energy well. And those commanders actually made it through into the back over here, so they, they actually survived. What of the other two commandos? They are literally hiding out in the top right here, but they can't take the territory anyway, because there's one unit there. So yeah, the commando is still there. He's just about alive, but I don't think he's going to get the kill before he dies. But the second lot of commandos might. He's actually called it off because the sun units would probably have taken out the aircraft. They might have been able to drop it off, but I'm not sure. So now he's got a foothold here. He's not going to reinforce this location. He's actually switching out and sending his units to this section, which is unfortunate for Animal because he's just started building a rocket right here. Which I'm guessing they're going to be able to easily spot because that's not in a stealth location. Although the rocket itself is stealthed, I think there's enough units here to spot that. Let's have a quick look. Just, in, just at this time he's able to see it. So it went away for a second. That's because I turned off the vision. And it just appeared instantly. So yeah, AKA is able to see that now. And he's going to try and sneak some units around this side here. So we've got the Navy trying to do its maneuvers around here and they're just trying to get onto this corner with all of these submarines and I think they're going to do a lot of damage if they can get through there. There is a good amount of destroyers but it's just the way he's positioned his units there. And now they're going to be proceeding forward. I think there's enough submarines here to take out what's actually a threat there. Over in this section those units are sneaking around but the defences have been pulled away from these artillery here. More commanders are being dropped in on the southern section there. And the rocket silo does survive, but it looks like Animorph is struggling a lot with the economy that you can't actually make much use of it. And Animorph is doing a very good job of building up a navy though. So, got quite a good composition compared to the, well, encounter to the enemy, not necessarily compared. But with the enemy mostly building missile ships, lacking the destroyers, he's mostly gone for submarines and cruisers. But it does mean he lacks anti-air in this regard, so as soon as he gets within the range of that airfield down there, he might actually start struggling with the Navy. I think AKA has spotted this town here, and although there's a couple of artillery and defense here, I don't think that's actually going to be enough to stop these cruisers. Though the submarines might be. So Animorph has foited the attacks and the invasion from AKA Misk, forcing AKA to rethink their plans. And the Navy is now approaching, taking away some of the economy. I'm guessing the economy has flipped by now. 1,200 for Animorph. And AKA has 1,200. <laughs> they are practically the same. Red is still slightly higher. And those commandos are still hiding out in the top right corner there. But what about the commandos over here? Was there any that survived? Yeah, we've got some commandos over here at the building of barracks. Just one random territory in the middle of there. So as I said, we're bringing in the air force over here and he's had to retreat with his navy. He doesn't have anything to deal with those air units. The cruisers do have anti-air, but it's just not really that much. At the same time, AKA has switched out his missile ships and favoring pretty much only destroyers now, which will be good against the submarines, but not going to be very good against these 
helicopters that, to be fair, they are shredding them to pieces. With enough destroyers, by the looks of it, you can take out the helicopters. But we have interceptors for those, and they are coming in and taking down that helicopter pretty quickly. One last helicopter left, and it's heavily damaged. And that interceptor just finally took it out just before it could land. Got a bit of a dogfight going on, these two literally circling around each other. Looks like Blue's gonna get the kill and that goes in the drink. But there's quite a few transport boats here. I wonder where he's gonna plan to go next. And if Animal plans to cross at all. We do have a rocket now, so that rocket could now, instead of being used to take out this defense, could be used to take out this whole navy production over here, or not quite all of it. You can take out three of them if you can find it. I don't think you can see it just yet. What can Animorph see? So this is what you can actually see. Not a lot, to be fair, in comparison to that. Some submarines mixing over here. I think they're about to discover the sub pen that's over there as well. I know there were subs playing down here, but they've been taken out slowly by these cruisers and destroyer. Helicopters are defending it, so I think they will actually take them out. I don't think they'll actually survive there, though. The Navy Yard's probably going to go down. And remember this barrack, these two barracks and this one little territory set up? Got a good lot of commandos, and it looks like they're about to go on the move soon. Yeah, the sub pen up here got caught out and it's been taken out now. I think they'll probably be going for this town next, just checking if it's there again. And we'll probably destroy it. We've got two more airfields being built here and they're going for the bombers. These are going to be targeting structures, so they're going to be trying to destroy these or they're going to be supporting the navy. The blue's looking like it's going to try and take out the town and then make a run for it. And they are trying to escape there. We've got the interceptors coming in as well just to check for submarines, I think. Because they're pretty good at spotting stealth units. Helicopters are going to be doing a lot of damage to those cruisers. And the Navy comes into this section. They're going to be chasing by the looks of it. But they got the flag commands on. So the Navy's actually being split up, which is not a good scenario. He's realised the mistake and he's pulled back. The rocket's been fired. I think it's going for the Navy. And he's trying to move the Navy out of the way. I don't think it's going to make it. He does save a few, actually. That was pretty fast movements there. He got them out of harm's way pretty quickly. Saved them pretty much as much as he could. And... I think he was pretty successful against that rocket, but he is still quite heavily damaged and is up against cruisers and submarines with a few missile ships now in the mix. So they should be able to fare better against air units. These bombers are spotting this invasion early. I don't think they're going to worry too much about it as they're going to encroach on this defense over here very quick. Now, Animorph does have a rocket side over here. He hasn't able, been able to save up the cash for another rocket. And um, Red's Navy has been supported by air units, but the anti-air has been kept behind the front lines here. And we've got one long smoke line there. So even with the Navy, it is good to keep your missile ships behind your main front forces transport boats are on the move, but they're going to get hit by these bombers. Commandos are dropping in directly on top of these airstrips. That is a lot of commandos, but there is a fairly fierce battle over here. They're going to be targeting those airfields. I imagine at the same time these commandos are going to be darting around here. Yeah, they're going to be taking out these sub-pens over here. 
They took out one of the airfields. I imagine these bombers aren't going to all be able to return home anymore. No, one goes down just randomly over there. The Blue's Navy has found Red's Navy production. Because it's quite close together, there's even an NGO out here. I think they're going to do a fair amount of damage before AKA can really respond here. The commandos over here have cleared out those submarines. They're trying to look for commandos. Checking all over the place. We've got a lot of territories being taken away from Animal once again. And there's a group of commandos going over here for the energy. And this one's being striked, but I can't see if there's anything nearby. I think he managed to take those out. Well, the cruisers are going for the energy while, while the submarines are taking out the navy yards, because the submarines can't hit the energy no matter how close it is to the water, unless it is in the water. Now, that was a fairly big blow against AKA there. And also remember, these two commandos are in the top right corner of the map. <laughs> Still wondering if they're coming into play. I guess that's going to happen when he starts to invade, or Animorph has genuinely forgotten about those commandos. <laughs> Just trying to keep an eye on what's going on. There's multiple things happening across this map. Got another group of commandos trying to sneak off up into the northern section. I think they're going to try and check out the locations over here. But I think they won't reach there in time. We've got the interceptors moving in. That's going to spot anything that needs to be spotted there. And we've got more commandos dropping in on this section. I guess they're going to be going for this. And then potentially the town. We actually have two locations they're going for. And they're going to get hit by some sand there. What's going on with the Navy? The Navy's moving down here. They're going to spot the rest of that Navy production. So AK seems to have a great start when it comes to that expansion. Getting in on that second island really early. But I feel like that overinvestment just lost them this island. And Animorph was able to exploit that. And now they're kind of at this stalemate section of the game. Since Animorph does have control over the ocean, and if he wanted that rocket, he could either delete it if he didn't want it, this silo. If he does want another rocket, he could stop production. Of particularly his navy, if he didn't want to do that, he could stop it of land units. But we do have more navy units coming out on this grouping down here. So they're going to be cutting across through this area and trying to take back some territories as Animorph has rebuilt a navy production over here as well. Those commando harassments seem to have been foited but there is still a couple of commandos hidden at the back. But they are being encroached upon with quite a fair amount of forces there. Those bombers have found an airfield with two barracks, and this airfield has a lot of transport jets on. Which is going to be quite a lot of money lost if that airfield goes down. Which it does. Look at all that destruction. <laughs> Just bits of plane everywhere. We've got another sub pen up here and another one there as well. So there's two more being rebuilt up in the north. As he brings his navy down, he will be joining the production over here as well. So, But AKA has not underinvested over here. He's definitely got a lot of navy production, but he is going to get discovered. Although Animorph is struggling with energy, just spotted. It's got 19, this should be okay. But yeah, they've just been recorded because they're black smoking. I guess it's because he's trying to use a navy and this air force as well. Just trying to make sure I don't miss what goes on up in the north. It doesn't look like much is going on up there yet. 
the aircraft have spotted at least one of these, and they probably will spot most of the others too. So I think Animorph's pretty aware of the threat that's coming up over on this section here. It might take him a little while to respond to that. He's got quite a few units here, and if he can't get through it now, most of Animorph's production is over on the other side of the map. So he's moving in over on this section. He's going to be entering the sub pen. He's actually stopped these units moving. And I guess that's to keep up movement over here. Yeah, so we've got Red. has got two submarines in the water there. They're attacking the Navy Yards. And he's trying to take them out with some helicopters and interceptors. And a fair amount of bombers too. Just seeing what else is going on. It looks like Red's making a plan of attack. Not sure what he can actually see over there yet though. It looks like the submarines went down. Yeah, there's the bubbles over there. But over in this section, this force starts to move once again. The Navy is coming in at the side. And is actually retreating. There's a lot of destroyers here, and most of the forces here are of submarines. I think they're trying to regroup with this, with these small guys, small amount of units here, and that actually is going to keep retreating. He's just going to try and retreat to his production here, so that way he's got a chance of using his helicopters as well in the engagement. But unfortunately, I think he's going to lose too many units for that. I'm not sure if that retreat was worth it. It might have been. I'm not sure. But he's getting his bombers in over in this section now. There's a few Sam there, actually in defense as well. But those bombers will prioritize destroying that Sam as they go down. Two of them have gone down at least for now. But the Navy production for AKA Misk remains in the south. Is that rocket in production again? He's actually destroyed the rocket sailor. And it looks like AKA is struggling with energy now. So Animorph's got a full amount of energy to use. And AK is separating his navy so that he can actually move it more efficiently, but that does mean that Animorph's going to be able to snipe these units. Potentially before they can do much, we've got a very strong reaction here. We've got this navy moving in from the left, we've got helicopters moving in over here, and bombers just behind them. They're pretty much surrounded by almost everything there. And we've got the transport boats getting ready to find a way to get across. Now AK is using a smaller force trying to just bring them in. He's just trying to get around them, I think, at the moment. And try and find another thing he can do there. Trying to potentially spot a place for his units to land, I think. Nothing else going on over there. It looks like Animorph is still protecting that area. The little choke point that he held at the beginning of that Navy section. And he's got a few destroyers over here protecting this energy well. I'm getting the feeling that he wants to place an oil rig on it. it. does have a good lot of energy over here, but these bombers are moving into this section over here. There's interceptors at play already. The commandos have finally made a move. They've captured the territory, the built barracks, and they're setting up some defense now. Interceptors are already in the air. Bombers are here right now, and there are SAM units moving in. There's five SAMs. I think... Although the SAMs will likely go down, they will waste the ammo of these bombers. Allowing these interceptors potentially to go up again to attack. But nope, not, didn't last long enough unfortunately. Those bombers tear through structures really fast.
got an airstrip coming in here, so he's going to just get some extra storage for our units. Those bombers are on the move once again over here, so those bombers are a really good choice at the moment. And the submarines on this section are going to be moving and progressing towards that choke point over there. Which, to be fair, there's a few destroyers, so for a while they will at least be able to take on quite a lot of those. But if the submarines take out those destroyers fast, it might be a bit more difficult for that battle to continue. I think those bombers are going to take out that town. And Red is building up a strong navy in the bottom there. Yes, the town does go down. And the submarines are approaching the section, but they're struggling with energy so much. When they black smoke, they actually take a debuff in armor. So it means they're going to be much easier to destroy as they're, as they're doing that. And now they're bringing in helicopters, and I'm assuming those bombers, interceptors at least, for now. So he's forced to retreat back into the section over here. And the bombers are on the move once again. They're coming into this section over here. Again, there's a few SAM here in defense, which are hidden. But they probably won't last long against the bombers. And the bombers were able to tear through that, that structures over there pretty quickly. So I just think AKA needs a fair bit more anti-air. Which is just unfortunately, just the way the island shaped is going to be a lot harder to try and protect, uh, protect it in comparison to the other island. There we go. So AKA waved the white flag. He didn't need to wait any longer. He realized the position he was in. And he gave the game to Animorph. So Animorph will be moving on in the tournament. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the battle. Remember, there's a playlist in the description if you want to watch the entirety of the tournament that we'll be covering. There are two videos on screen right now, feel free to click on one and I'll see you there.